Man, I could really go for some AG1 right now. Hmm. Wait a second, there's something right there. I really don't feel like getting up. If only I had a helicopter with me. Guys, today's video <laughs> sponsored by AG1. Guys, AG1 is a simple daily routine. You just tear open your travel pack or grab a scoop out of your AG1 holder. Just put it right into a water bottle. It's as simple as that. Give it a couple shakes and you're good to go. Guys, you already know the facts on AG1. It's got 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food source ingredients made for just about everybody. Now, if you kind of eat bad like me and the guys here at the shop, AG1 is perfect to fill those gaps in your diet. And I find that when I'm drinking AG1, I don't have to rely on an energy drink to get me through my afternoons. Not only does AG1 help with your gut health, brain fog, your energy. I mean, there's healthy aging, stress and mood balance. AG1's got a huge list. And if you guys go to drinkag1.com slash Cletus, you'll get a free welcome kit that includes the canister, shaker, and a one-year supply of vitamin D and K. Not to mention five of these travel packs. So guys, that link is in the description below drinkag1.com slash cletus thanks to ag1 for sponsoring today's video let's get to the live action hell yeah brother you're on the cletus mcfarland youtube channel ladies and gentlemen as you can see we're somewhere special today we got a mig 21 behind us you probably think this is an aviation video it's not we're at star creations with the guys that's right all right so <laughs> You guys already know the deal. These guys are building a body for Leroy, and they said they have it done, so we came up here today to see it for the first time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's done. It is. Uh, it's, Two weeks, man. Yeah. It's quick. <laughs> no, they don't have a body done, but we wanted to come see their shop. They have a world-class fiberglass facility up here. It's only about an hour from our shop, and we're going to take a gander at some stuff today, maybe spray some glass. Is that the plan? Yeah, we spray something that for sure. All right. Absolutely. Let's go take a look. World-class being complete dump yeah, world class unfortunately fiberglass is messy so our it's shop's okay. not pristine like we're not this. judging these guys make monster truck bodies every single day so there's fiberglass everywhere we're going to just go ahead and this is actually a mold from yeah. our other company us body. Like that. Oh. so this is a 55 chevy delivery oh, um, oh nice so we're going to be making this thing tonight probably um it's going to get cut up it's actually going on a Gasparilla float. Need me to whip it up? Yeah, I'll just have you knock it right out. <laughs> Smells like fiberglass. Damn. Oh, the cracking, dude. Look at the cracking. That's our boy. Right. Our so, boy Ty used to do a lot of fiberglass and carbon fee breaks. I did. Yeah. I did. What the heck is this? It's fiberglass, man. This is for hand laying, like we thicken up edges and stuff like that. Sometimes you gotta hand lay. We don't it. build giant parts with this. We just take it and rub it on your it skin. It don't bother me none. Yeah, Your skin is already Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, brother. Dude, look at the fresh paint job I happening. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. hasn't been cleared yet. So dude, it looks so cool. It's in the it's still in the process, but wow, you guys literally can make anything. Yeah. That's, That's what he said. The, uh, Dang, dude, it looks so cool. Can I get one of these bodies from Leroy as well? <laughs> a Kraken <laughs> body? <laughs> it's gotta so. be weird making stuff that you know is just gonna get destroyed almost immediately. Um, you know, not really, because we get paid to make more. That's true. So yeah, that's a good point. Everybody Job secure. Oh, wow. Whoa, so, dude. That's where so you're what? spraying. So, yeah. Oh, there's the gun. Yeah, yeah. So, what the hell? You got two ribbons of this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, we have a drum of resin. Oh. This is MEK. Um, MEK, so that that's what fires the resin off, right? Oh. So you got resin, MEK, and then the Roven. Roven goes, goes up through here. That pumps those tubes in here. This comes in. There's a chopper blade. It chops it out into like you know like these these smaller pieces. Yeah. Chops it, sprays the resin and MEK, and it all mixes in the air. And Dang. and it's like almost like painting a car. And it goes on real fluffy, like what you see on the floor. We get we're about to spray it down. Yeah, and then you roll it down. Can we spray something? Just some rollers and oh. stuff like that. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get we a bunch of guys chop some. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you gotta better watch so your aim in that thing. I don't need you breathing bad stuff and Good getting call. stuff on you. Good call. <laughs> Ty, you want to spray some too? Sure. Oh, this is a safe room, huh? Dang, you're getting a brand new mask? Dude? Yeah, I know. Who's, you don't want to who's put paying a mask for this? These guys. Wait, can we come up with the body with you? Oh, well, that's totally great. <laughs> So then when it falls apart on the street, I'll just be like, well, you made it. You yeah, sprayed right. it, brother. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <thing doesn't> exactly. <laughs> Ty doesn't fit his. Get a little thick these days. Ty said, I think your suits are mislabeled. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, guys, what we are about to do is chop fiberglass. And do you call it chopping because yeah, of the... Yeah, we call it chopping. Because, because of it's the, chopping strand the That's gun the chops the fiberglass and blasts it into what is that air that shoots out yeah it's all air powered all right, all right. yeah you don't want we're like, going chops let's go blast some chop Will you get chopped up Dude. what do we got going on my here? last pair of pants they stopped about right there so i had to change yeah, yeah. oh we're doing an actual part oh yeah oh, oh. yeah you sure about that? so this is chase this is our head hey oh, guy here to stop so he wants this is the putty this is what we use as a filler so on parts like this, you'll look, you can kind of see right here is an area that's hard for glass to form to that. This 90 degree angle, that's going to be really hard to form the glass. Putty that. So we use putty as a filler and as a glue. Ah. So it'll help bond it to the part as well as form the shapes that are hard to make it. Now are we going for like a like paint or what So we... it's kind of like a paint gun, but instead of painting like this with it, you've got to go up and down with it. The oh. fan is outward like oh. this, so you have to come up like this and make nice feet. Oh, real nice. A little bit of fiberglass in that one. Oh, all right. You're going to putty, dude? Oh, I want to putty. Pretty good. There's brush. This is the important part. Yeah. <laughs> Monster truck piece. Yeah. You know, so you guys need to do All right, you done yet, dude? Ten minutes later. <laughs> nice, dude. Right, pull apart. This is where things get hairy. If you're right handed, you'll just put your right hand on there while you use this one just to kind of brace it up. And then you're going to want to hold your hairs with this hand. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Look at all that air. Get rid of that. Get rid of that air, baby. 
We're dialed. A job well done, dude. That's going to be on a monster truck. That's going to be on an actual monster truck. <laughs> they just built the whole monster truck. They, they just built the whole body. It's all done now. Definitely a lot of fiberglass on the shoes. A lot of chop on there. Oh, there you go. How? We're going to enter a virtual reality to look at Leroy and a C7 that they scanned because we're going with a C7 look on Leroy with the body by Star Creation. So we're going to jump in there and take a gander at what we got. So you're going to put this headset on. Next thing you know, Leroy's just going to yeah, be sitting be right in front recording of you. recording like that. Okay, it's recording. Okay, so this is measured off of an actual Corvette C7. Yeah, so that's the, the yellow body you see in there right now is yeah. an actual rebuilt scan of a C7 Corvette. <laughs> the frame oh, yeah. is obviously your frame. So your I can chassis. see where Leroy's chassis is poking through because that's on the outside. Oh man, it acts, a lot of it lines up pretty good. You can damn actually good. get inside the car and look at yeah, the I really? and everything, yeah. I know you don't want to walk into it, but you can walk through it. Admit your body tell your brain says no. Yeah, but this is right nuts, it. dude. This is so sick. Does it look good? Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> so in a second, I'm going to bring in a body that I'm working on. Okay. And put it over the frame instead of that C7. Okay. All right. A glimpse. Hold on. Let me take a gander here. My turbo. Yeah. I'm just <laughs> turbo looks good. Let me get in it real quick. I mean, this is just, oh, uh, I just scanned the parts I needed off the C7. Yeah. That's all I got from the I'm in Leroy right now, George. I know you can't, <laughs> yeah? I know you can't tell, but I'm literally in the side. I'm looking out the window of Leroy with a body right now. <laughs> it doesn't look like it from here. <laughs> I bet it doesn't. <laughs> but I'm chilling in Leroy That's right cool, now. Really. All right. Well, you want to switch to the next yeah, one? So this same frame but it's your chassis yeah to scale with a body that i'm working on okay that's going to end up being the actual body All right. oh. okay yeah <laughs> what do we got up here <laughs> oh we got a little bald eagle beat coming out the front of this thing <laughs> damn this is crazy like this dude what in the heck? Is Wait, I love this, Jesse. You're saying <laughs> well, I'm just saying I might not like it. This is sick. It looks like an eagle. George is one of the most magnificent things I've ever laid my eyes on. I worry a little bit about the aerodynamic scoop on the back side of the turbos, but obviously that's easy to fix. Well that's all I know you just started on that's this. That's all so. gonna get chopped off yeah. <laughs> George, wait till you see this, dude. <laughs> wait till you see this. This is gonna bring a new term to follow oh, the Eagle wing. Machine. Dude, this is literally gonna be so sick if this turns out like this. <laughs> you so, gotta get on here. So scratch the C7 body. All right, you gotta get on here. All right, we gotta get you on, make sure it's recording, and then you gotta turn around. You ready? Yeah. I'm turn on. around. She's turn right around. behind you. Oh, dude, it looks like a pro mod. Yeah, it does. Oh, my god. Hold gosh. on, come up to the front. <laughs> Get a little lower. Get a little lower. Dude. Holy crap. That looks way cool. <laughs> That's going to be sick. Bro, Leroy's going to be so fast. Dude, you're stepping on Leroy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Big shout out to Star Creations. As you saw today, we're already experts at making the fiberglass. It's basically up to what? Jesse to get this thing designed and finished up. I mean, it looks good. No, I'm super excited you like where it's at. Right oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're nervous. <laughs> All right, guys, you know the deal. We're putting one random freaking awesome RC toy, one random order on CleasonFrawn.com every single day. And we got our first winner from day one when I announced this, the 12th. We've got Matt L. And he got a Freedom Factory t shirt. Let's see if Matt is uh, an air guy, you know, or maybe. Uh, Sam guy says he's from Michigan, so this guy, I've called this guy like six times. <laughs> just want to say this is the third time we've shot this. I've called Matt six times. <laughs> so, Matt, sometimes we retry these things, you know, when people don't answer it. It's the first day, but Matt has not answered six calls. He's getting a promo, though, dude. All right, so our winner from yesterday, which would be the 13th, we have Gary G from Fletcher, North Carolina, with a McFarland Aviation shirt. Oh. oh my boy might be going the air round, dude. <laughs> might get the AC-130. Hold up. 
Hello, is this Gary? Yes, it is. How are you, Cleet? <laughs> Brother, how in the world <laughs> did you know that this is Cleet? Omaha, Nebraska. <laughs> oh, just that quick of an assumption, huh? It's the only person I know that has anything to do with Nebraska. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. All right, dude, you're freaking CSI over here. Hey, well, Gary, listen, we saw you ordered a McFarland Aviation shirt. Are you going the air route, or are you thinking the on-the-ground route? No, I think on the ground route. I don't know how to fly. <laughs> hey, that's fine. Hey, listen, this cub, dude, you can learn with this thing. It's your choice, yeah, Gary. I, I crash it once, it's over. I'll take an infraction. I knew it. Take an infraction, <laughs> 80 mile an hour, Gary. That's what I'm talking about, brother. All right, we'll get it down for you and get it shipped your way and enjoy your McFarland Aviation shirt, brother. All right, man. I appreciate it. All right, thanks, buddy. See ya. Gary. Gary. Getting a blue infraction, just like the one on the box. Oof. That's a bad unit. Yeah, it is. So you guys don't do it. You can place an order for a freaking sticker or 10 shirts. It's one random order every day. And I'm excited to announce we got the freaking flannels back that everyone was demanding at Christmas time. So those are back. Zip up. McFarland Racing. Ooh. Clean. And then my girl Maddie brought back her comfy McFarland Racing hoodie. All right, enough talking about this junk. Let's get to the live action. All right, well, we're back at the shop and we got the Star Creations guys here. <laughs> and we've got new and improved stuff going on for this Leroy body. A little bit. A little, right here. Okay. A little bit of an update on the car uh, body, a little bit of an update, and then we're just going to go back and forth and, and try decide to decide on yeah, where exactly we want. And they have to scan the bottom of Leroy today. All right, guys, you'll notice the quality on this recording was kind of rough. We had some issues exporting it from the goggles, so just bear with on that. All right, where's this? Oh, I'm standing in Leroy. Yeah, all right. That's <laughs> so weird. There's two Leroys in our shop right now. <laughs> all right, so it's just a scan. It's just a scan. So I'm going to throw uh, the current body on there, which the only thing that's changed is the front end, but uh, give me one sec. Okay. Dang, Leroy's just chilling in our shop with Leroy. All right. Oh, interesting. So. So you pointed the front end more? I pointed the front end more. I shaped the eagle a little bit more. The reason I did this is because <laughs> I started throwing this body in the in the wind tunnel. And uh, yeah. this is the optimum shape so far. Okay. As far as wind's concerned, <laughs> it flows right over the front of this thing. Yeah. Um, so questions I've got for you is, you know, how uh how you want to handle this section right here with the turbos and all yeah no i think it's perfect like that as long as this piece kind of right here doesn't create a a parachute effect right as far as the wheel wells are concerned on a lot of like yep. pro mod bodies they the wells are way out here and there's a huge you know opening yeah. there i don't know i think that's maybe a little too far past the wheel I would probably tuck that like towards the I wheel, would like maybe. To push it in. Yeah, push, push it in. I mean, realistically, I'm just going to start messing with one side of yeah. this thing. Yeah, go ahead. You know, so oh, wow. Yeah. Straight, yeah, yeah. Now you're talking. Push it in a hair. <laughs> that, right? He's straight up just doing this right now. <laughs> and I'd say the same thing in the back. Just push that in a little bit. Yeah, we can do it right now, real quick. Yeah. And uh, this is all going to get shaped. Okay. So you're just kind of a, making a quick adjustment. Quick adjustments. Sweet. This is all going to be uh, uh, wind tunneled over and over and over again. So this will yeah, yeah. probably change. It'll probably be more, more flat up. Okay. So the back end hasn't even been considered. So, um, yeah, I know you've got some work to do back this here. This guy here is going to be like a... I know that you had trouble with this being pushed back into the car. So I'm going to try to, uh, that's what we're doing today is I, I kind of want the air to flow from underneath and converge here instead of becoming a vortex here and pushing back. Yeah, this looks clean. I like the side look right here. I mean, I kind of prefer the front end without the longer eagle beak, but we can do that. If it's for aerodynamics, then I'll, you know, we'll go with it. We can definitely push it in a little bit. Now, the reason, uh, some there was a comment or two about it looking like a duck-billed platypus is why. Oh, okay. So you're trying to, why. 
shape the bald eagle more. It out right? a little bit. Uh, I mean, we can go duck, full duck bull platypus if you want to. No, no, no. Well, either way. I, I like it. I think it looks clean right now. It's yeah. still being shaped up, man. It's going to change a lot from what you see right here. But if you're happy with the direction, man, we'll. Uh, I'll, I can finish this up now once I, I get think, this scan. I think we're good. Go. So sick, dude. <laughs> this is freaking awesome. Oh, can we fist bump oh, yeah, through this? Yeah. All right. Well, that's that fires me up. Hey, Jax, Dan, you want to look at this real quick? So Star Creations, they're going to be out here scanning the bottom of Leroy to finish up some stuff. You know, I think, did you just need to scan the bottom for aerodynamic stuff or what yeah, was? I'm okay. Gonna have it just so we can uh, throw wind at it and see what it does. Okay. So they've got a few things to finish up, but we're pretty close on design, as you can see. Had a lot of fun chopping over at their shop and getting this thing ready, but we should have a Leroy body fairly soon from Star Creations, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching, do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later. All right, George couldn't resist seeing the cub in the office, so here he is with his own and planning on flying it. Maiden Voyage right now. Maiden Voyage, dude. Brand new RC pilot. Yep, first timer. All right. <laughs> well, you got the emergency button, so if you just hit this button, She'll save you. She'll level out. Yeah. This is the All button? Right. That's the button. So just make small movements and just get her airborne, bud. <laughs> Brand new unit. Okay. Okay. Wow. Look at that. Look at me go. Look at you go. Down, down. Button, button. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Gonna need a little power. Yep, a little power. A little more power. Look at that. Nice turn. A little bit of rudder there. Button, button, button. Floor it. Oh yeah, I didn't have any power. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Dude, you're just in the danger zone over there. Can you like bring you over the field? Power out. Power less power. Oh, floor button, floor button, floor button. Button, button. Okay, button. all right. All right, pull back now. You gotta pull back, dude. Oh god. This is so scary. All right, you got Adam here now, so you can always hand him the remote right before it crashes. Oh, is that a barrel roll I just seen? Crap, dude. I don't know what's Hit the going button. On hit the button. It'll level out. George, hit the button. I'm... Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. You see where she's going now? Let's try and get a landing before we lose this thing all together. I'm going to turn, turn around, pull back a little bit. Power, 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 power. Yeah. Oh, gosh, George. All right. Oh. Yeah. All right. That, that was the most stressful two minutes of my life. Look at this guy. <laughs> if George can fly it, anyone can. <laughs> Let's get a landing on the runway. Oh boy. Those low turns. Woo. All right, take back off. You're good. Okay, try and get a little higher and give yourself more time to line up. Now put some power back in it. Oh, this looks good. Power out, power out. Oh. Wrong way. <laughs> Big wrong way situation. Is it the backwards deal, you know, and it's facing you? That looks really good. You had it dialed in down the runway. All right, I like the way this is looking. Power out. Just fly it down with your right hand. Whoa! Oh. Holy, oh! I don't know what that pull. was. You better floor it and pull up. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what happened on that one. I think you, uh... My button is saving my life, I can tell you that. Safety button coming in real clutch today. Is that a button that use a right button there? Use. Okay. I'm okay. Back. All right. This looks good. Now just pull back gently. Don't add power. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or, or add power. Don't add power. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'd call that a success, That's George. That's a success. I'll recharge her. Come yeah. back another time. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Dude, what is this rig? Oh, An X? Oh, holy crap. That thing's got some power, huh? <laughs> Dang, dude. Now you're just showing off. Oh, this one is spicy. What? That's how, that's what I thought this was going to look like with the cup. Dang, this thing's hard to. <laughs> oh, golly, dude. Rip's going to be pissed at me, dude. <laughs> Wanna pop that little thing off the side there? Just gotta get her to the runway. Motor mount too, maybe? Oh. <laughs> One wing. bent wing. <laughs> Dude, it's a sled wing like a Boeing. <laughs>
Dang. <laughs> the motor's about to rip out in front of it. Wow, you can really put her down. I know. 